Alright everybody, welcome back to another Project Diablo 2 video. This is part 2? I don't know if there's going to be any more, but this is part 2 of however how many there is going to be after this, so... Let's get started. So we last left off at the Crystal Line Passage, where we ended up having server problems. But this time, we're going to try to avoid that. A.K.A. Let's hope to God it's not going to happen again. So it looks like we've got our Might War up, which is pretty gosh darn nice. So there's going to be a bit of a change in content, at least in terms of scheduling and uploading and all that. So there might be days where I'm not going to be available and I'm not going to be able to upload in time. So there could be gaps in days where I'm uploading. Because um, I'm going to try to tone down the, uh, the amount of videos I'm going to be posting, at least not have YouTube be my priority right now. Yesterday's video, or at least for me it's yesterday, it might be like a day or two when this comes out, I'm not sure. I did a lot of talking about, about Diablo 2 Resurrected and how I'm a purist and all that, and I still think what I said is true. I still plan on making a video on it, at least about the surveys and stuff. It's just I need the time to do it. Not really the time, but just need to find the right words for it. So I'm still Try to figure that out. I'm just gonna go straight through this whole place, honestly. Oh heck yeah, just get away from all those guys. Okay. Oh god. Yep, just take care of that barbarian. Alright, let me go find this waypoint here. <laughs> honestly, this might not take as long as I'm thinking it would, <laughs> so... <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get there relatively quickly. Alright, let's fight some ancients. This shouldn't be too hard. Let's get our bait going. Right. They are having issues, I noticed. God dang, that bash is rough, man. Ow. What do they have on oh, that's making them so resistant? Luckily, I got potions on me right now, so. I Yeah, I think we'll be able to kill them. Just as long as I don't run out of potions here. Alex dead. Yep. All right. Corlac, you're dead. Yeah, there we go. All right. Roll stone keep level one. We are actually almost done with Act Five. Okay, so I guess it's a two-parter then. That's interesting. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my God! <laughs> Man, I wasn't really in any immediate danger, but still. As you can see in the time, I've only been playing for 13 minutes, and we're already about to kill Bale, so... Uh, this is gonna be a short video. <laughs> Here I'm going about like, yeah, I might not upload every, every day and stuff, but this, this week might be the day where I'm gonna upload every week. <laughs> you know, did I get the waypoint? If I didn't, I'm gonna go back and get it. Nope, I didn't get it. Alright. I might want to grab that. Seems like most of the enemies go after the golem, then my skeletons, or my follower, so he's pretty good bait, I'd say. At least that's what I'm noticing. If that's not at all what's happening, then I, again, I feel like a moron. <laughs> if there's a gang you're playing a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot, and you're grinding hours into it every day, I wouldn't do that. Because you're not gonna want to play that game in the future. And if you do, you're going to be bored out of your mind. If you take some days off from playing the game, like holding back those urges to play that game that you really want to, then you're going to enjoy the game a lot more. If for whatever reason, Resurrected comes out, I'm going to try my best not to play the whole thing at once. I'll be really excited. I got to hold back that urge. Because I don't want to play the game and make a video on it because I want to be one of the first people to do it. I want to like record, take a few days off, record another video, take some days off, you know, 
because I want to kind of keep it, you know, I don't want a game to be my life, <laughs> you know. I don't want to play a game for days because I'm a, you know, I've been super hyped about it. Sometimes people are gonna, you know, want to follow by that rule and, uh, you know, they might not get burnt out. But for me, and I know for some people out there, that happens to them. Look at this. Just a mess. It's gonna get even more hectic. Oh god, they're all gonna be on me, I feel like. Yeah, oh. Come on, don't die. Don't die on me, bro. Alright, here we go. Oh, no, I got, I'm stuck in that. Hold up, maybe I, I gotta summon that golem so they get distracted. Listener of Torment. Minions of Destruction. These guys are probably the worst mob to ever exist in this game, I think. Constant stunning, by the way. All right, we are done with these waves of mobs. Now we get to kill him. Bale himself. And I might go to the, to the Cow King next after this. You know, this is the, like, probably gonna be the closest thing to me play, of me playing the original game, <laughs> which I still plan on doing that, by the way. We just want to. I want to get these mods out of the way first. All right. Yep, come over here, dude. Get rid of them. See, so he focus. I feel like he focuses like every the yeah every mob focus on the clay golem. At least when he attacks. Yeah, see, look at that. <laughs> Maybe my theory is right. No, he's on that skeleton. Maybe gotta resummon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the golem. Okay. Just need to regen a little bit faster. There we go. Ow. If it's gonna be not- if it's not gonna be the golem, it's gonna be me. Oh my god. That hurts. This is what happens we don't have any resistances. God, man. Look how much damage these guys are just... Like... Either my skeletons are super weak or, uh... Bale's super strong. And I can't tell which is which. No, I don't like the... Okay. Am I... Ah. I say this is probably the long part of the video. <laughs> this is actually a really satisfying bail fight because it's actually really hard. <laughs> At least for a summoner it is. Gotta keep that clay golem up. And your amp damage. Make sure your minions are alive. Can't let any of Bale's attacks hit the skeletons. There we go. Demon high gloves! Ah, oh, yeah! Poison skill damage. Oh, well, I mean, if I was a poison dagger necro, then this would be really cool. Oh, that's right. I am level 28 now. Or am I 29? I'm 28. Okay. I'm switching those out. Because I don't have any other better gloves. I've only gotten glove drops. I hope you know that. <laughs> I've got two sets for gloves, and I also got these demon high gloves, which is really good for a poison dagger. Necromancer. Because you got the life per hit, you got that crushing blow, you know, you got that 12% or, tw yeah, 12% to poison skill damage increased. Overall, I mean, if I was a poison dagger necro, that'd be like the best thing ever. Is there any point to kill the Cow King? Probably not. I'll be honest, probably not. Definitely am gonna need better magic flying gear, though. So. Hopefully with these higher difficulties, we'll be able to do that. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Oh, apparently I can't pick it up. <laughs> Let's see what the... Do I already have it? I do. I, oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I already have it. Secret cow level. You find some pretty good, like, open socket items like this. I mean, that's... Well, I mean, that's one socket, but you find some good... You know, weapons to find for socketing. Like a pole axe here. Ith rune, I'll take it. I'm taking all the runes, honestly, because they stack, so that's a why not thing. 
Plus, I can upgrade them, so maybe I can collect a lot of these low-end runes and upgrade them to eventually the Zod rune, the best rune in the game. Did my follower die? He did! And he died over... That's a sign. <laughs> That's a sign. Whoa! Val, chill out. Gotta be the worst teleport I just ever done. Let's see, where is he at? Oh, I think he's already dead. All right. Well. Oh my God, that was loud. There we go. I am now a slayer. And we will continue this in Act 1 Nightmare soon. So I want to thank everybody for watching this video. And I will see you all next time.